Uh, I will demo my uh, new version of Auto Dust Boot. So now the new version is can be detached uh, without any tools. Uh, so right now I don't have a dust boot. So the dust boot is here. Completely disconnected. Has uh, four magnets. So let me move. Let's move the spindle closer. So, what I'm gonna do first is remove the spindle power and then I need to lower a little bit the Z. And then connect this to rod and that's it. And then connect the power. Okay, then let me connect the magnet brush to. Then from here we can set up uh straight to you, we can set up the height using this knob, dial knob. So like for example, this is our material height, just for example, right now. So that's it, and then we'll press it like two seconds that will save the material height so to confirm we can test it if we double press it it will retract and we double press it again it will expand to the save height so that simulate if i'm calling uh, m8 for expansion and then m9 for retraction which m8 is basically the plot or uh, where my vacuum is also connected. So let's see, let's try connecting the vacuum. There you go. Um, and then for, oh, I forgot to connect the spindle. Put it back that's the reason i have a quick disconnect on spindle um, for this purpose so now we can i'm gonna load a sample file or but also if i'm gonna show you if i run and make command it will execute it will turn on my vacuum actually let, let's retract this one so if i press uh if i turn uh enter m8 goes down automatically and if I turn uh, send M9 it will turn up my vacuum and will retract um, so let's say we, we we put this in this height and we forgot to retract it and since this is designed really for my tool change to make it compatible so I add some coding that if I start a program it will execute M8, M9 quickly just to make sure it ret retract before moving to the tool, uh, the ATC. Uh, I'll show it to you. Like, I'm going to load this file. Oh, it's already loaded. So let me just verify quickly if this will work. Okay. It says it's good to go. So I'm going to run it. You will see this. Um, this uh, actually no, you can see that it will, it will it will retract, but it won't move. So I add an, a one seconds delay before it start moving. So let's start. Hopefully this work. Oops, why? There you go. So it will pick the first tools. I'm just gonna cut in the air. So I already set up this is the origin and the Z height is here so it won't go to any materials. It goes down. It 
goes up. Whoop to tool change. Go to the tool setter. Move here and then continue working. It's a, a temper bit. Done. Okay, there you go. Uh, let's move this to. Let me see, I kind of put this to stand. Have some macros here. Let's park it. That's it.